Hi guys, how are you? I hope everything is well with you all. Welcome back to your own channel. Today we will start the hundred dresses part one, written by Eleanor Estes. Now, the hundred dresses is actually was published. The hundred dresses was published in the year 1944. In your syllabus, the hundred dresses has been categorized into two parts. The first part, the hundred dresses part one, and the second part, the hundred dresses part two. But the whole version in a single manner was published in the year 1944 now we just take a look of the characters vanda petronsky who is a polish american girl lives on bogen heights then mary a rich girl who is kind hearted at the same time peggy then miss mason then jack bagels who won a drawing competition later on in the story isn't it now this is somewhat based on a true experience experienced by the poetess herself elena restes vanda petronsky is a polish american girl as i said so she used to be hated by her classmates maddy and peggy and the place where bogen heights is situated this is where most of the polish people or let's say lower strata of people used to live isn't it now why all the polish people started leaving europe where they really belonged to and started settling in the us because there was famine occurred and then insurgency took place famine means starvation as we all know and insurgency insurgency means there was a clash or riot that took place okay against the government chicago is considered to be the hub of polish people vanda petronsky is a girl who wears an ill fitting and faded dress on a regular basis when she comes to school as well as her shoes are also laden with mud now this is how we can estimate how pathetic her situation was isn't it there are two girls Maddie and Peggy they always try to mock Vanda on a regular basis suddenly Maddie asked Vanda how many dresses do you have Vanda replied i do have 100 dresses and those are the silk ones and the other ones are the velvet ones now Maddie and Peggy started laughing how could it, how could it be possible because Vanda comes to school with an ill fitting and faded blue dress then second question medi asked vanda how many pairs of shoes do you have now vanda said i do have 60 pairs of shoes now again they started ridiculing vanda mercilessly now this is how we can understand the psychology of medi and peggy towards a non american girl and that is wanda petronsky now we indians may have witnessed in our schools in our classrooms where a person where a boy or a girl comes from bangladesh let's say nepal or bhutan and studies with us so there should be no kind of discrimination take place we should regard them as if they were from india only and that's how we can lead the harmonious nature the harmonious way of living together isn't it now vanda this is how is harassed and that's why she used to suffer from inferiority complex fine she used to feel very lower in comparison to other girls or other classmates now suddenly miss mason took a drawing and painting competition in the class So Vanda also took the participation in that competition along with Mary and Peggy did the same No one could ever imagine that Vanda would come first in that drawing and painting competition Miss Mason their teacher asked the students to draw the 100 dresses and there were Vanda proved herself how talented she was in drawing she drew 
the hundred dresses so magnificently that she acquired the first position. No one could ever imagine that this is how she would top. Maddie was thought of a person who would be winning the first prize on behalf of girls and from boys who took the first position. Jack Bagels, Jack Bagels drew motor boats, and that was the finest one, isn't it? Now, other classmates started admiring for Vanda for winning the first prize. and maddie and peggy just uh, overwhelmed to see it as a matter of fact when wanda acquired the first position she was not present in the class she had been absent for a long time perhaps because uh, it is said that she might have moved to some other city where most of the people like her do reside all together isn't it maddie started admiring wanda's drawing then uh, peggy started admiring uh, wanda's drawing this is how the story ends so i guess we have learned a lesson after reading it subscribe to my channel like the video and give the comments in the comment section thank you for watching it